pan-spinal cysts or cysts around the spine cause neuropathic symptoms? I'm understanding that question as can a spinal cyst cause nerve-like symptoms in the leg? That's what I believe the question is. And it's a good question. And it's one that actually comes up a fair amount in all sorts of circumstances. So here's how that works. Cysts in the spine, the most common would be a cyst coming off of the facet joint. You can have a cyst in the spine that is not causing any symptoms and you don't have to do anything about it. You can also have a cyst in the spine that starts to compress a nerve root, in which case it can cause sciatic-like symptoms. Essentially, the cyst creates stenosis, creates narrowing around the nerve root. And just like anything else that would create narrowing, narrowing around the nerve root, that can cause inflammation or compression of the nerve root, which will then cause sciatic-like symptoms into the leg, like radiating pain, numbness, tingling, sometimes weakness. And then obviously this has to be addressed. A couple of important points on that. Number one, if you have sciatic leg symptoms and you happen to have a cyst in the spine, you still have to make sure that it's coming from that level. Again, you could look at an MRI and you could have a cyst that's just an incidental finding and something else is actually causing the symptoms. When the cyst is either contributing to or solely causing the stenosis and the symptoms from the nerve root, you treat it usually a little bit differently than you would other kinds of stenosis because here you have an extra option. So option number one is to treat it like any other kind of stenosis where you basically just treat the inflammation around the nerve root and you treat the, the cyst as any other kind of stenosis, any other stenosis causing agent like the joint or the disc. But when it's a cyst that's creating the narrowing, you can also address the cyst itself. The three ways that you can do that. One, you can try to aspirate the fluid out of the cyst with a needle, sort of like you're just draining it which decompresses the cyst. Sometimes that works well. Sometimes what happens is you aspirate it and then slowly but surely the cyst just fills up again. If that happens, you can also try and pop it. Um, like, well, I don't think you should pop zits, but kind of like that. You're putting extra pressure in and then you're going to basically try to um, explode the cyst. If you do that, it needs to be done very carefully because as you're blowing up the cyst, you're putting more and more pressure on the nerve root. So there is a bunch of technical and other considerations that you and the doctor need to talk about with that. And finally, surgically, you can go in and you can take out the cysts. 